Let's stick with Apple. Are you still bullish on the company? Well, I think uh, there was enough uh, positive commentary to keep it range bound. Uh, it's not going to run away. Uh, I think it's pretty much a show me story, like they say. Yeah. He said they're working on new products. Uh, let's see what they are. Uh, but it's a tall order. I mean, they have to replace or kind of come close to what iPhone is doing. That's a growth engine, for, has been for a long time, 60% mm -hmm. of revenues. So I think they have a lot of work to do. Let's see the other parts of the business are doing well. Services, ex accessories, and all that are doing well. Right. But but you need a lot more to replace what iPhone did. And you know so. what, services is not really a story unless Apple sells the hardware. I mean, is Apple now a services company? No, I mean, it's getting there. I mean, it's, uh, I don't think they've tapped everything there on the service side. It'll continue to grow, though the rate of growth has slowed down. Uh, but it's a function of uh, iPhone sales, So as you said. So we'll see where that grows. But uh, to the extent that you can generate good sales there and get good margins, I think that's good for Apple. So China's slowdown seems to be a theme throughout this earnings season, not just Apple, but now a long list of companies are, are saying blaming uh, that dispute, namely the semiconductor stocks. We heard from AMD and NVIDIA, Intel. What's your outlook on the chip stocks? Well, uh, chip stocks, and uh, we'll go with what they said, all the companies said that China has slowed down. But let's see, Apple is saying that their January sales were good. Uh, he's very positive uh, on China. He thinks it'll keep improving. So we'll see. I don't think it's definitely slowed down. China needs to, we know the macro story there it's overall, and we've known that for a while now, so that it's slowing down. So that needs to come around. But overall, in the end, they, they have to come back to these companies when the things picks up. So we'll see where it ends. But as of now, it's slow. And these companies will uh, be kind of will get hurt at this point. Would you still be in them though at this point? Well, I, I would wait. I, I don't think they're running away at this point. So we need some more catalysts. We need to see how the trade negotiations are going. We need to see how the China story, how the consumer is in China. How, so a lot of things you'll wait and see. So I wouldn't rush into these stocks. I would wait, uh, wait there. Want to get your thoughts on Tesla because they're out after the bell, expecting a, a slight profit. What are you looking for? Well, uh, Tesla did pre-announce uh, that their deliveries were uh, kind of soft. Uh, uh, gap uh, profits were good um, for this quarter, even though lighter, but still they were profitable. Mm -hmm. I think it's Tesla is all about the future. Uh, they're kind of working around their manufacturing. Uh, they need to get to that low-end car, the $35,000 Model uh, 3, uh, but they're not going to get there right away. So they need to save money to pr increase production there. So they have laid off people. So they play, they're doing the right things by saving money, uh, reducing expenses, and uh, directing money in the right places to increase production there, get to the mass production product car that they want to be in. Uh, then Europe is going to come on board uh, with the Model 3 as well. So I think uh, the mid-range Model 3. So all that is going to add to the bottom line. So it's a, it's a work in progress, like I said, again, yeah. it's a lot of moving parts. Uh, then always the financing issue for them. And we'll see how they play out. Uh, at this point, it's a great company. The biggest thing is the execution risk, uh, uh, but uh, you, no one can deny that it's a great company. Even Elon Musk admitting recently it's going to be, quote, very challenging. Very challenging.